All right guys, quick video here, a little bit of a heads up. You might be running out of time to plan for this, but I think you have enough notice. The Worn and Wound Wind-Up Show coming up at the end of April, at this end of this month, right? So um, April, what, 20, 28th, 29th, 30th? Was that Friday, Saturday, Sunday? I'm going to be there Saturday and Sunday for sure. Probably going to miss most of Friday because I'm flying in a little bit late. Uh, but uh, I got to say, first off, and you, you got to check out all the brands there, right? Um, that's the whole point of going there. And it's going to be busy, but just, you know, navigate around or come find me. I'll, I'll get you in. We'll, we'll look at some watches together. We'll look at some brands together and maybe even buy a watch together or something like that. So don't hesitate to come up and introduce yourself to me. I, I really am humbled by that. I really appreciate that. And I really like to have that level of connection. But uh, I have to say big thanks to Mark at Islander Watch for sponsoring this video and also being so, you know, um, just rooted into the community, what he's done for the watch hobby. Uh, I've known Mark even way before the channel, back in the day. Um, he was always supportive of uh, whatever level of uh, energy I was putting into the hobby. He was like right there with me supporting it. Uh, and that also transitioned into even when I was doing the channel. So... Big fan of Mark uh, and what he's doing, and uh, thanks, Mark, for sponsoring this uh, video. And I'll see you guys out there in San Francisco. There's a heck of a roster this year, both at, uh, uh, well, there's three shows, San Francisco, Chicago, and New York. Um, I'm fairly certain I'm going to make it to the Chicago show as well. I'm not 100% sure I'm going to make it to the New York show, but I'll definitely be at San Francisco and Chicago. And uh, I hope to see you guys there. This is just a small sampling of some of the brands that are going to be there. Like I said, it's a heck of a roster. There's Vero, Citizen, G-Shock, Zodiac, Fortis, Alpina, uh, Baltic, William Wood, Notice, and of course Islander Watches. They're going to have um, a heck of a selection there in San Francisco. You'll be able to purchase there and they'll ship it to you. It's not going to be, uh, you know, they're coming from across the states, guys. It's due to I imagine logistically it's too difficult for them to travel with the inventory. A little easier to do when they're in New York at the wind-up show uh, that you guys probably noticed last year if you were at the New York show. You could buy them right there. Mark brought inventory there in the crew. So it's going to be a little harder. Or He's not doing it, basically. He's not taking them to San Francisco. But you'll be able to look at them, get hands-on them, and that that's the biggest part of these watch shows is you go hands-on. You'll be able to handle that watch. You know what I mean? Look at it. Because it's one thing you watch my video or look at pictures online, stock pictures or whatever. Um, it's it's difficult to decide, you know, whether you're spending, you know, three, four hundred dollars all the way up to like over two thousand dollars on some of these brands. Um, you know, do you really want to separate that hard-earned money to put this watch on your wrist? Is it really the watch for you, right? So at these shows, you know, you can you don't even have to ask, guys. I know a lot of people, I hear it at the shows, they'll be like, hey, can I pick it up? Can I try to? That's what the show is all about. You just walk up to the booth, say hi, be cool, and, you know, start handling the watches. That's what they want you to do. They want you to pick up the watch. They want you to handle it. They want you to turn the bezel. They want you to put it on your wrist because they want you to make a better informed decision. You know, they're most of these brands, if not all these brands, from my experiences, they don't want to just sell you a watch. They want you to get the right watch, you know, for your money. So there, that's that level of customer service is what I've come to expect from the micro brands. That is, uh, that's what's so great about the brands that we see at this level. So, anyway, guys, like I said, this is a small sampling. I have some more, but they're just out on tour right now. Um, at some point, when you look at those rosters of the Wind Up Show and any of the other shows. I want to, at some point, have like at least one of every one of those brands. That's the level of commitment that, uh, you know, I have towards the micro brand industry and the independent watch industry. That's where my passion lies. Uh, I think that's the most fun part of this hobby for, for my journey. So, and hopefully I can share that with you and you guys can share that with me and we can do that at these shows. So, I'll see you at San Francisco Again, big thanks to Mark and the whole crew of Islander Watches for sponsoring this video. And I will be wearing an Islander watch in San Francisco. So I'll see you there.